Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome back to Gone Home. Right, last time we left off we were just about to explore this room and there's a bit of a hallway around here. Haven't got to that yet, but we'll get to it eventually. Right, so... Um, anyway, there's a lot of uh, mystery behind this house. There's... Uh, what's his name? The owner of this house is our father's uncle. Uh, what was his name? Oscar Greenbrier? Was it, was that his name? Uh, do, can I bring up my inventory here? Uh, uh, view journals 3 or J. I'll try. Maybe it's in journal. Map? Items? No. Uh, where was that little bit of an obituary? It was in this drawer. Uh, really obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Okay, so his name was Mason. Okay. Uh, Mason was born on December 8th. He Boone County. He became a Randolph figure. Uh, 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 his survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, now, now that makes sense. Okay. Good to get that out of the way. So what else we have around here? Books, books, more books, of course, of course. Looks to be a bit of a library, a bit of an office. This is where Daddy Dearest did most of his reading and work, I assume. Uh, Benjamin Almond. The Killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie, discuss the truth. What is the truth, pray tell? Hey, pick it up! A superb work of speculation plotted with amazing skills and showing a level of magnetic artistry not usually present in such academic pieces. In Trammell. A thrilling theory, I couldn't put this down. Or I couldn't put this book down, S. O'Reilly. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's one of the greatest tragedies. I mean, there's a lot worse going on right now. Grab highlighter. Can I mess around with this? Draw on the wall? No? Eh, okay. pointless. Pointless, pointless. Oh, examine paper. Uh, Pioneer. CLD D703 combination laser disc compact disc player. Uh, MSRP. What does MSRP stand for? Uh, recommended price. That's what the RP stands for. $999. $1,000? Jesus. Wow, that is pretty pricey. Anywho, the CUCLD098 remote with backlight, double sided play, headphone out, display on off, jog, shuttle dial, excuse me, uh, front remote or front and remote, digital uh, CLV slow motion freeze frame, last frame memory. 2S video outs, coax, optical outs, twin 1-bit DA converters, SN ratio, 116 decibel CD playback, 422 by 140 by 432 millimeters WHD. I've no idea what half of that nonsense is. And that's coming from a guy who works in retail that sells stuff that is similar to this but it's not as complex or complicated they say that jack of all trades is a master of none i have to disagree mastery is not a question of specialization but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft if you happen to be in the market for combination ldcd player you'll be glad to know that pioneer seems to share this particular share this particular uh get it got cut off why? Is there more? No? Okay, never mind. Um, oh, and he has some sort of notes here. Back to basics. Sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again. What if JFK wasn't JFK? Early space flight utopia, advanced technology, and World War II early. Time stream to different. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. <laughs> Uh, JFK President, USA and USSR, Ecos Coalition, Coalition, sorry. Paradox resulted in JFK, JFK death being desired outcome. Record JFK, HBO. Wait, record JFK off HBO. Magic 
buyout or magic bullet theory lone gunman uh that seems about right i don't know what this is um yeah made that out again you can't do better oh, okay so he's obviously tossing ideas about for his next book seems to be a uh, very jfk eccentric state of emergency in dallas canals motorcade intercept lho in ussr lho killed off marines jfk poisoned kidnapped injured why not distrust i have no idea what that is and yada yada more nonsense okay let's see is there any more things in here that i can read no just a drawing pad nothing what the hell did i pick up oh oh a, f a fake underneath a, f a fake a fake didgeridoo a fake doodad a fake bottom three ring binder nothing on this nothing in here that would hold secrets no aha letter Oh, come on! I can't... Uh, I, I can't... I can't read this. Uh, I, I can only... Why? 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 Why is it like this? Terrence Greenbrier, 188. Dry Creek Road, Forest Grove. Uh, dear Terrence, I write on what I hope and imagine is a... Jesus Christ. Devs, for the love of God, I want to read this. I do. I want to know the backstory. I want to know what this letter is in relation to, but there needs to be a text overlay. Not everyone can read cursive. My eyes aren't like that. My my eyes can barely read my own writing from time to time. And that's saying something. Oh. Turn that on. Keep the ghosties away. If there are any ghosties, enter combination. Well, we definitely don't have that yet. Actually, wait. Want to check this letter one last time. Uh, August tenth, nineteen seventy-two. I'll put it in nineteen seventy-two. Jesus. And these headphones are very bassy as well, so I really hear that. 19 clickety 2 is that it no could it be um august is the eighth month i'll, for, I'll put in august 10th so uh so we'd say zero eight one zero okay try the opposite way around the 10th of august oh 1080 no just double check the letter again Be 1888. And there's. Oh, Oscar Mason. I make it, I can make out that part, but I can't make out the rest. So I'm guessing this is um, uh, some sort of um, will or final testament from Oscar to Terence. Yeah, okay, try 188. Could be that obvious. No way. Not a hope in hell. Then again, I'm open to you proven wrong. So prove me wrong, game. I was proved wrong. Oh, switch fan. Yeah, that is a pretty loud and a pretty slow fan. Okay. Don't mess with this anymore. Okay. No, stop. 
anything else? Any other hints that can let me into that locker there? Uh, drawing, no. Oh, 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 there's something up here. Ooh, whiskey. Irish whiskey. They're still in Ireland. Uh, what's, what brand is it? Hanrahan? Okay, as far as I know, as an Irish dude, I'm not much of a drinker myself, but there is no whiskey called Hanrahan. I mean, maybe it could be, who knows? Maybe it's a specialized uh, local drink, who knows? I know a few Hanrahans, and I'm pretty sure that they don't brew or distill their own whiskey. If they did, they didn't tell me about it, and they sure as hell didn't share. Pricks. Anywho, uh, nothing else up here. Is there any books that'll give me a hint of what that lock combination could be? No. Oh, oh, oh. Form. Electrical inspection form. Name of insured applicant. Terrence Screenbrier. 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County. OR97141. Policy binder number 0094-12A-A. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies which need correcting? Unclear. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. Wow, that, it's that old? Okay, this house is definitely haunted. There's definitely going to be some ghosty goos. I mean, any house that's over... Any house that's over 100 years old or over a century old, that has got to be haunted. That has got to have some weird spooky-ass curses or something like that. Okay, uh... System is frequently... Un... Wait, what? Unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Aha, uh -huh, definitely signs of a haunting right there. Uh, okay, uh, having off an clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits and wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Company name Black Cat Electrical Company. Uh -huh. 598941 uh -huh. 9th after 2nd and 94 It wouldn't be 9294 the combination no? At this age I'm just going to try every number I see Just in Excuse me what the hell was that Just keep that closer to not being so nine two nine four. Nope. Wasn't that either. Jeez, fifteen minutes have gone by, at least um, by my count, and I'm only after finishing off this room. I need to finish up. Wouldn't be anything else to tell me the combination of that of that uh, locker here. No, I, I mean there, there could be in here. There could be something. It might be in this room. It could be in another room. And you know, what? I really like that music in the background. You can barely hear it, but it's there. It's very peaceful. Hello. Okay, it's very peaceful except when I get interrupted by random clicking noises. There's definitely no one coming through that door. No, there's no ghost. There's no nobody, nobody trying to follow me. No. Okay, right. That is good. That is goody, good, good, good. But this bookcase, it looks like it looks like that there could be something here. But I don't know. I don't know. Secret doorway, perhaps. Whoops. Was I supposed to open that?
I didn't know. 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 Oh, ghost hunters. Excuse me. Hell out of me. Ghost hunters. No, 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 no. I, I ain't fucking chasing after no spooky ghosts. No, no way in hell. Okay, Sam and Lonnie secret. House investigation. CO or log. A uh, hidden compartment sound three library upstairs hall fire evidence of the supernatural discovered zero okay the search continues library mom and dad's room and this right there's a few secret compartments here okay grab crucifix why would I need this I think I need this. No, no, that's not what I wanted to know. Where did my cross go? Where did my cross go? There was something written on it. Why did that happen? Oh, no. Okay, close, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Oh, that's so creepy. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I want to read this, I want to read this. There's something... There's something written in this. For God so loved... Uh, for, for God so loved the world he gave his only son. Creepy and uh, just when I picked it up, the light blue. Maybe that was just coincidence because of a thunderstorm. Oh, but that's so creepy. Oh, I can feel it in my bones. Something creepy is going to happen. Like, I'm going to put down this book now, and something is just going to go whooshing past. No? Not yet, anyway. So, what was this? Um, fresh. Readers tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? I don't. The male gaze, how to subvert it. And Sarah Holt's not gathering moss. Okay. Yeah, don't gather moss. And it's getting pretty loud in game. Pretty loud indeed. Why would I need to grab a tissue box? Anywho. Oh, grab lid. Dad's, oh, he wrote a second book, did he? Okay, The Accidental Pariah, Terence L. Greenbrier. Did I pronounce his name right? Terence L. Greenbrier. Yeah, I did. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communications are down. A James Bond for today's audience, Casey DeWitt, a compelling thriller of War to Solve, David Pittman, faster. Oh. Okay, so it didn't do too bad. I don't like that pit patting sound. It's like somebody's walking around somewhere. Okay, wait. There's something underneath here. Gosh, Dad. Oh! <laughs> the magazine for men. Gentlemen. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Moscow by night drugs. Prostitution mafia. The, the new rules of love. Ladies in the ring. The women of wrestling. Oh, that's right. Dad, but a bit of a poivite, was he? Of course he was. Well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, and what is this scrapbook? A Stranger Under My Roof, the number one best selling advice book for parents of teens, Dr. Eliza Medina. A Stranger Under My Kid. Oh, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to read. How long have I been recording? Almost 20 minutes. Uh, oh, this probably isn't relevant to anything, so I'll just uh, toss that here. Wait, was there supposed to be a secret panel? Oh, there is a secret panel here. Grab loose panel. Boop! And what's this? The Misfits, Saturday, October 29th, plus special guest Maidenhead. Uh, Stigia, 306, uh, okay, whatever. 
At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Uh, I don't know, but I'm getting vibes of maybe a teen love story between Sam and her friend. Or maybe I'm just reading into it too much, who knows. The frick was that? Oh, it's just a cabinet. I think those are right. Oh yeah, there's a code here, so this must be for the combination out there. So I'm just going to read this letter. November 1st, 1994. God, this is going to be a lot. Dear Terence, David asked me to write to you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more troubled than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of home theatre aficionado want to hear about the quality and the value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting it loose. There's tons of guys after your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, review editor, home theatre, Vision Auto magazine. Mm-hmm, yeah, I'm saying Dad has a little trouble because he wants to be his own man, his own, own writer, and work for himself is what I'm getting because he's a self-published author. He found uh, success. Either way, let's check what's hidden out in the locker here. 0451, that's got to be the company. The sensitivity is all over the place, and I'm going to close this for now. I'm not even sure if I should have opened this. I didn't even realize it was here. This was totally accidental. Close the bell. There you go. Did I close that? I sure as hell, I sure as hell hope I did. So, what was it? 0451. Yeah, here we go. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Quebec and Wise, Attorneys at Law. Okay, this has got to be something to do with um, his inheritance, I assume. Oh, yeah, will and testament. Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare that this document, my last will and testament, the following shall hold true upon my passing. 1. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. 2. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors, living or dead. 3. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die, or of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounts. Money accounts, sorry. To my nephew Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event, the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the, uh, of the estate. Sorry. Stop that. I subscribe my name to this will this 13th of August 1973. Signed, Oscar Mason. Mm. 
Yeah, I assume this is just it written in handwriting here. See, this is what I mean. Like, why couldn't we just have a typed up letter of other notes scattered throughout the game? That is unnecessarily loud. How long have I been recording? Almost half an hour. I want to keep these short. Uh, I gotta lower the, the sensitivity of the mouse here. Okay, are we all good here? Nothing creepy going on? No? Good, that's the way I like it. Don't be creepy. Um, uh, grab a bunch of coupons. Ooh! You saved 25 cent! Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Examine pamphlet. I want to examine it. Oh, the lighting effects in this game are weird. Uh, U.S. National Forestry Manual, Northwest Region Prescribed Burn Procedures and Precautions. Can we read it? Don't think so. Right, open this door and... Wow, it is dark. Turn on the lights, please. Oh my god, it's a bear. It's a freaking mini bear. That's so cool. You the frick out of me. It that doesn't turn on now. Uh just give one kick quick quickity quickity glance around here. Okay, more of our dad's novels. Grab box lid. Is there going to be more dirty magazines hidden in here? Oh, read letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to you, to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could send Samantha his Nintendo Street... F Wait, Danny asked if he could send Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape and give my permission. What, 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 what? I didn't you mean to do that. Place your whole life. Your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Oh, so she does miss her neighbor. Probably for all the wrong reasons, though. Uh, let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to what to, to what to, to wait to meet an intel uh, Jeez These hand scrawled letters are useless unless I can read them devs That's my biggest complaint with this game oh, Wait, is this the laser disc player that uh, Daddy Eaters was writing about? Could be, could be, who knows. Uh, read assignment. Reproductive system worksheet number six. Um. Um. I don't feel like reading this. No. Mm -mm. Not here. Not on YouTube. No. 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 Besides, there's too much. Too much to read. Not enough time. So I think her dad might have been a bit of an alcoholic, maybe. Who knows? Uh, either way, an open bar is cool. Ooh, letter. Uh, from the desk of Donald Fripp's publisher, Mercury Inc. Or Mercury Books Inc. Okay, uh, March 8, 1976. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Excellent Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Excellent Saviour, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. 
However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It's been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in the future, in your future endeavors. Sincerely, Donald Fripps. Okay, so her dad was a crappy writer. A gun rapper, shit. Or so it would seem. Right, I think we're about done here, are we? There's nothing to pick up. No? Alright. Um, Tech book? What was it? No, no, I want to read it. Again, what's with the weird lights? I can't read the book or see, see it. World history. Yeah, I did a lot of that when I was a young chappy in secondary school. Back in the year 2000 and clickety click. Get out of my face. Jeez, the camera angle is weird. Uh, I've been recording for a little over 30 minutes now. Uh, I'll just finish up this area and just see what's going on. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Oh. So this was left for me. Me personally, yo. I feel so loved. Uh, wait, read note. Will you stop that? Read the note. Hi Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that, that would be cool. I can drive, it's kind of far, but I, I can drive. Uh, oh, I read that wrong. I can drive, it's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want and we can meet in the parking lot after, after, after sixth. Oh, I assume that's after sixth period. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there, then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Oh, and we have a Hadouken! I assume it's a Hadouken. Or it could be a Kamehameha. Who knows? So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Oh. So this is Samantha's friend, Lonnie. Okay, Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad, the attic. Okay, and we don't have a key for that for some reason or another. Did I miss the key or something? Will I find the key later? Who knows? Um, either way, I think I've done enough. I think I've cleared a lot of rooms of cleared downstairs mostly just for the rooms that are locked obviously so what I'll have to do next I don't like those clicking noises they creep me out I mean the game is already talking about ghosts and ghouls and goblins and okay maybe not ghosts and ghouls but hauntings and weird goings on lights blowing up and stuff like that, Le electrical falls, it's... Uh, it's your stereotypical wannabe horror game. It's not supposed to be a horror game, but it's trying to pass itself off as a horror game. It's trying to be spooky, in other words, <laughs> when in reality it is not spooky. Anyway, guys, enough rambling on. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And, of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. So on to next time. See ya.